a detail a fix I did to this uh, Wells Garner K4600 with coil. As you know, many of these are uh, very fragile. Well, in fact, I think all of them by now were very fragile just due to the materials used when they constructed it. Uh, this one that was on my uh, Galaga uh, monitor was broken. So I'm going to detail the fix that I did to it. Uh, it was snapped right there in the middle. Let me get my pointer. Here we are. It was broken right here and and veing down like this, almost touching and grounding out uh, to here. So what I did was I stabilized the outside with hot glue, both rings. I used uh, a little piece of plastic. It was actually the a broken end of my um, uh, wire brush, and I put it right here, and it pushed the V up level. Then I took some epoxy, and I used, in fact, this little wood pointer. It's just a skewer. I cut off the end of it, and I used that as my uh, utensil. And I took epoxy, and I put it around the outside edge here, outside edge here, and it all the way around the edge of the brake. So now you can see it's. I mean, I'm hitting. I'm hitting that pretty hard now. It's solid. I mean, that thing you could press on with your finger. Um, the downfall to this is, of course, you're never going to be able to adjust the width ever again, but you were never going to in the first place because if you were to try to touch the uh, the ferrite screw, it would have just disintegrated. So this was the only option, and I think this is the only option for many of these. Um, so that's it. Um, it's uh, a fix end all. You know, you can't do anything else with it, but at least it's still there. And, works. Hope this helps some of y'all.